Hi there, Jocelyn Panita, the founder of the Scholarship System here, and thank you for joining our Paying for College series. Now today we're going to talk about a hot topic and that is ways to make money. So we talked about in, in our Paying for College series, of course, ways to reduce the amount of money you need. But now let's talk about creative ways to make money that don't involve a 40 hour job, 40 hours per week job, and just having an absolute insane time throughout college because you're trying to juggle a ton of work hours with all of your schoolwork. So what I'm going to give you um, are about nine to 10 ways that you can make money that are more flexible to meet a, a schedule when you are a student. And a lot of these I've done myself or I've even done since leaving college. So I've tried and tested many of these, but overall there is hope. So, you know, you can absolutely secure free money when it comes to scholarships and grants, cash awards, which we talk about in the scholarship system. And those can pay for your tuition, your room and board, your, you know, your books, your laptop if needed, but maybe you want some extra cash on the side. This is where you're going to learn how to get that. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start going through the list. So one of the first things that I talk about are some sort of flexible job. And a lot of that has to do with some sort of tutoring or freelancing. So you can tutor not just in subjects, but you might be able to find a local high school that needs, maybe a parent wants their student tutored in soccer. Maybe you know how to play guitar and you can tutor someone in the guitar. Uh, maybe you are good at math and you can tutor in math. So it can be any sort of topic that you want to share. And you can absolutely post something online where you can offer your your services and that way it's pretty flexible and you should get a pretty decent wage for that. Now secondly I mentioned freelancing. So today with the internet being so crazy and blowing up and people connecting all over the world helping each other do things, freelancing is an easy way to bring in money when you want to. Now a great site to do that is odesk.com so you can go on there. You can also go on fiverr.com f-i-v-e-r-r -R. and these are places that you can put out gigs that you know you can do for people. So maybe you are a great graphic designer. You can absolutely make a killing doing freelancing online while you're in college. Or maybe you're just creative with design or animation. You can post that. Or maybe you are just good with words and you can type things up. You, There are absolutely people out there that will send you a recording and they just need someone to write the script of it, which is very simple for anyone to do. So there's tons of different jobs out there. You can go to Odesk and see what people are posting for jobs and then you can also set up a profile and, and share what you think you can do. So uh, tutoring and freelancing are great ways to make money that are completely flexible. So you should absolutely consider those. Now, another thing that you can look into are these new companies out here that are enabling people to make money and that is Uber, Lyft, uh, even Airbnb. And now, of course, if you don't have your car on campus, don't bring it up just to Uber because you've got so many more expenses that will come with your car. But if you already have it, then you can hop on Uber and just make some you know, quick bucks here and there whenever you want or Lyft. Also with Airbnb, you can rent out some space in your place. Now, one thing to note is if you're renting, you want to make sure that it's allowed based on the rules. Now, if you own it, if your parents bought the place and you're just, you know, you guys own that property, then of course it's your own rules. But if you are renting, you want to make sure that that's okay. Um, and one of the last ones that are super flexible is babysitting or pet sitting. Maybe you can ask pr professors that you've gotten close with to see if they know of anyone that needs a babysitter. Maybe they'll need a babysitter. But I have plenty of friends that did that throughout college and they made a pretty penny. And the last one I want to talk about are those hourly jobs, the more common jobs that we hear about. And that's the one, you know, those are the ones where you're working uh, at a company, pretty consistent hours, 
but the thing is not all of them are created equal so some of the things that you can look into is you know maybe something where you're at a desktop where you can work on homework while you are working so a lot of places like a library they're okay with that as long as you are attentive to the people that need your help so a desk job could be great for some students now me I'm a busybody so I preferred to be doing something that was going 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 so actually serving is a great job for college students and that's because typically they have easy flexibility you can pick up a shift drop a shift um, and also you leave with cash in your pocket a lot, which is always great. You don't have to wait two weeks for a paycheck. Um, and so that's, that's a very common one for college students. And the last one would be being like a teacher's assistant where you're actually hired through the university. You're helping a professor teach a subject and those look great on your resume. It's great experience because you're gaining more knowledge. You're really hammering in a subject in your own mind and you're helping other students and making money on the way. So those were lots of different ideas on how you can make money in college. So this is part of the paying for college uh, series and making money, you know, you can put it away if you already have a free ride or you can pay off some of your loans before you even graduate. But either way, it's always great to be bringing in cash. So this is, these are just a few tips to do that. Now, if you enjoyed this message and you want to learn more, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to the rest of our videos. We have a ton of content on here and it's always growing. And also, if you have any ideas for next topics, I would love for you to comment below and let us know what you'd love for us to cover because you know we have tons of uh, college experts on board that we can absolutely talk on pretty much any topic that you would like to see so thanks for joining me again thanks for watching the scholarship systems message and we'll talk to you soon